Hey there everybody, good morning, welcome, it's Wednesday, partly cloudy, let's call it partly cloudy, we'll call it partly cloudy, but today on the show we're going to talk about how you already have everything you need. If you think you need one more thing to get started, I want to show you how that could be wrong. No, how that is wrong. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning show where we talk about how to start growing and enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. And remember, just like we talked about on the radio yesterday, you don't have to be a business owner to be an entrepreneur. It's all up here. Um, hey, listen, do me a favor when you get here, whether you're watching the replay, which a lot of you do, I know you do because I watch the stats, or you happen to be joining me live, either way is fantastic. I would really appreciate if you'd leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning, what'd you do to your hair, whatever, right? Uh, it's whatever um, makes you happy. Go ahead and leave that comment in there. And then at the end, only at the end, and only if you get value from our time together today. I want you to do one more thing for me, but I'm going to save that for the end because there's a chance this is a steel-toed boot episode this morning. Um, every once in a while, I come across these uh, these topics. I call them steel-toed topics because there's a pretty good risk I'm going to step on some toes. So you should wear your steel-toed boots if you're going to watch the show. Here's the topic I want to talk about today. Hey, Joe, good morning. If you are not doing something, fill in the blank, if you're not launching your business, if you're not creating a new product line, if you're not going after that customer, if you're not uh, pursuing the promotion, whatever, if you're not doing it because you need blank, right? I need more information. I need... Um, this, that, or the other, right? If you're not doing something because you need something else, you're wrong. You already have everything you need. Now, I've said this many times to many people and gotten many different responses, so I'm pretty sure I understand how you might be feeling, so let me explain just a little bit by what I mean. I believe that you are a unique combination of gifts, talents, at time and location and that you are here to do find and do work that matters right work that matters is work that energizes you it creates value for other people there's a, a lot of characteristics about that but the work that matters you are the unique uniquely combined created placed and existing entity necessary to do the work that you're supposed to do now, the problem that a lot of us run into is that's not the work that, or, or we, it's not that we don't want to do that work, it's that we think something else would be a better idea, right? So take the example of, and this happens all the time, young child, fantastic artist, I mean, just can do great work, and um, well-meaning teachers, parents, counselors. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic drawing, but what are you going to do to make a living? And they are they are pushed away from their particular gifts and talents and skills into something that they can do, but they're not particularly gifted and talented to do. And gifts and talents don't have to be artwork either. I mean, how many times have you you know seen a magnificent PowerPoint or a great spreadsheet or um, a, a carpenter or a, a bricklayer or an auto mechanic you thought, wow, they really love what they do. They that, you know, you might not have thought that their work product is a piece of art. Fans making a knocking noise. You might not have thought it was a piece of art, but 
it is their art. You can tell by just the way they pour themselves into the work that that's what they love to do. There's something that you love to do, too, and you have everything you need in order to pursue that. Now, if you're trying to pursue something else, you are absolutely correct. There is a possibility that you don't have everything you need. So if you find yourself deficient in some need, you have to ask yourself two questions. Number one, is this what I'm really supposed to be pursuing? Is my unique combination of gifts, talents, uh, time, location, time, talent, and resources, that unique combination suited to what I am trying to pursue? And if the answer to that is yes, then the second question if the answer is no, you don't even have to ask the second question. But if the answer is yes, then the second question is, what's the next step I can take? Because we will sit back, we will hold back, waiting for all these things to drop in our lap. And the reality is, some of them we're not going to get until we're down the road. I have seen people trying to start a business, worrying about... Um, processes that won't work at scale, you know, when they have hundreds or thousands of customers and they don't have the first customer yet. Let's just go get a customer and then we'll worry about operating at scale, okay? Right? I mean, some of the things, yes, those things you need, but they don't have to stop you. Just like my analogy, do you sit in the driveway and wait for all the, the lights to turn green? between here and wherever you're going before you go on the driveway? No, of course not. You make your way down the road. Yesterday I was making my way down the road. It was just a huge accident in front of me. I had to change my way down the road, but I got to where I was going. How is that possible if I didn't have all of those answers before I started? The reality is exactly the same for you and what you want to accomplish. You're not going to have all the answers. Don't wait on them. Get to work. The answer to the things that you need, if you are pursuing your work that matters, then the things that you need are going to be there. Just have to trust. All right, that's it for today. Hope that was helpful. Now, if you survived today's Steel Toad uh, episode and you got something valuable, 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 I'll learn to say that word one day. If you got something good out of our time together today, I would love it if you would heart, like, thumbs up, star, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening, and share this video or this audio with one person. You don't have to send it to your whole network. I'm not asking you to do that. I want you to pick one person who could stand to hear what I had to say today and send it to them. Just one person at a time. That's all it takes. And see, that's an example. You don't have to send it to everybody. Just one. Take one step. The rest will come after that. All right. That's it for today. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. And I will be back here again tomorrow with you on Thursday. Hey, don't forget, Friday's coming up. That's Free Coaching Friday. That also means you need to be preparing a question to stump the coach. If you don't have your question ready yet, start working on it. Because you need those questions in here. You guys have a great Wednesday. Hey, I just wanted to come back for a minute because when I started this, when I flipped over to do the outro, all of your comments showed up at once. I don't know what was going on with that. I hate it when that happens, but I just didn't want you guys to think I wasn't answering you. Uh, Deanna and Catherine and Joe and Dave, thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it, and thanks for your comment. Now, I'll really go. See you guys tomorrow.